Hi, Brian here with Photonic Health, and I'm here with Lola. She's our five-month-old Frenchton. So this is a puppy. So first thing you're going to have when you have a puppy is that you don't have much time. <laughs> Their attention span is going to be very, very low. So if you can hold them like I'm holding now, that will help. And what we can do is we can just do a real simple, quick opening just by running our hand over the top of them. And then just using a pinch method, we just go along their body a little bit just to see if they've got any kind of a pain going on or anything that's going on with their feet. We can run down the belly with our hands. And this is a veterinarian acupuncture assessment. So we're just checking each of these areas. And poor girl, you're such a sweetie. Yeah, yeah. And just make sure you don't feel any kind of swelling. And then now I'm just going to quickly check and see how her mobility is to each side. It's like a rubber band. It's pretty simple. <laughs> so there's no hurt areas. If we did find something, what I would do is I would just start with a light on low. Offer it to her to look at. And then just maybe on the back of the head, we're just going to do some introductory opening points for her. And when the light starts working, we'd be looking for some lick and chew. And uh, they won't last very long. Bakwe is a really good one to get on them. I, I like red lighting puppies a lot when it's time for bed at night or we're watching TV and she's, they're just like half asleep. The other thing that's really, really good on puppies and dogs to do is just put a little light right on the bottom of the paws. This hits all five, all six ting points right away. So you get all the, uh, uh, all the, uh, the meridian points of the, of the dog being done right away. So you do the both front paws. Another good point to hit is right at the umbilicus of the bottom for the stomach. Don't miss anything, do you? And then we're going to try and get the back paws back here. <laughs> she's only 10 pounds, so she's pretty easy to hang on to, aren't you? And, it's, and with puppies, it's more going to be like in a wellness. It's more of just a maintenance type thing, so that way they're developing correctly. You're not going to find a whole lot wrong with young horses and young dogs unless they have an actual injury going on. Now with Lola, one of the things that she has that is interesting, she's got this little tail, curly tail that's in the back, is she got a hot spot. So one of the things we did is we just used red light, and especially on my multi-light, is we came across first with the blue, and we did the whole area of the hot spot all the way around in four locations. So in about 30 seconds in each spot, I'm going a little faster for the camera. On each side, there was a lick and chew, a yawn. Do you guys see that? And then on the top, okay, it's okay. And then I'm going to change it and go follow it up with red afterwards. All the way around there as well. And I would do this about two to three times a day for a couple days till it starts to all heal up. And then when we're done, I'm going to give her a little bit of green right, right between the eyes. It's okay. What this does is this goes right into the pineal gland and puts her back into parasympathetic mode, which is relax, rest and relaxation. Good girl. There you go. And then we're going to say thank you. That's all you have to do with puppies.